My name is Jared. I run Mountain Men Traditions. Uh, it's a Facebook group. Uh, we started Mountain Men Traditions specifically to connect all the different people that we met uh, at rendezvous events. And so when I started coming out several years ago, I knew that there was a lot of these people um, that we were going to share phone numbers and, and a lot of them we might not even share Facebook accounts and, and friends uh, on, through social media. But what I did know was that we could at least connect in a group where we could communicate and talk about events. We could talk about what happened, we could share photos and just kind of keep that communication going year round. But to keep up the communication we created Mountain Men Traditions Facebook group. So <clears throat> the group started just for that purpose, and we did have several hundred members, and it was, it was great when it started. Uh, a lot of us were able to connect and keep up with each other. Um, over time, though, it, it grew. We started to get more and more people from other places, other events uh, across the country who also uh, were usually friends of friends who, who came across us as Facebook suggested it out to them. And we easily grew up into a couple thousand people and uh, it was great to connect it was great to see more events and and hear people talk about more stuff than just what was here in the oklahoma area um but the group wasn't oriented towards just the knowledge and just the skill sets and and the conversation about the pre-1840s mountain men uh it was there for the community it was there to connect people um I even stated in, in the original post that I was like, hey, this is, this is the campfire. I want everybody to come around and sit and enjoy conversation at the campfire. It's where we learn. It's where we pass stories. So there are some great groups on Facebook and other social media areas that provide a lot of historical con uh, context and teaching uh, that get very specific with skill sets and conversations uh, that are just pre-1840s basically about 18 mid 1820s to to 1840s um, and that's great because those groups need to be there and that's where we need to connect people to but mountain man traditions brings in a whole group of different people we bring in um, trappers we bring in uh, hobby farmers we bring in uh, preppers um, mountaineers guys that just like to be outdoors and hiking um, men and women, just not just throughout the United States, but throughout uh, all of North America, including Canada, um, and then on down uh, into South America, and even over into Europe, and some in Asia. And we bring in a lot of different people from a lot of different places who have different experiences and have um, enjoyed a lot of the same conversation that we like to have. Now, we like to keep it oriented towards uh, the same mindset around the, the, the mountain men, um, not necessarily being so historical, historically specific uh, that we can't talk about other activities or, or other hobbies related around out the outdoors. But Mountain Men Traditions was built for community. And so that's its first and foremost purpose. And so hopefully, uh, as we've grown and grown and grown, and we've pushed well over 30 thousand members for this type of community it will it will achieve that and continue to bring in more people and connect more people with these types of activities these rendezvous events these trader encampments these uh, black powder shoots the different clubs that orchestrate these things and the different um, organizations that host this stuff and we want more people to be involved so mountain man traditions isn't isn't about teaching you specific historical correct mountain men skills or or objects from that time period specifically now that conversation is obviously obviously allowed but the idea is to bring in people who had no idea these events even existed who just like the idea of mountain men history and skills and then introduce them into these things and, and connect them to the websites or the other Facebook groups or club and, and organizations that can help move them closer to these types of activities. Uh, whether that's just talking about skills and helping them learn new ways of doing things or in some ways old ways of doing things um, or getting them connected so that they can have fun 
participating at events just like Little Rock. Thanks for joining the page. Thanks for, for participating. Um, if you're a buddy, if you're a friend, man, you're half the reason why I'm on this camera right now. So, appreciate it. Thanks.